say that. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. What do you want to say? Hi vlog. Hi vlog. <laughs> Show me your M and M's. Look at. What color do you have? Blue. Blue. Can you sing them your, the Days of the Week song? Days of the Week. Days of the Week. Days of the Week. There's Sunday and there's Monday. <laughs> We're still learning the Days of the Week, but he's got the chorus down. We're getting ready for a market this weekend, so I'm gonna show you what we're doing. And also, we started our preschool this week, and it was the first, we did three days of it. I've got my sister's girls over here right now, so it's four Look against me. one. Look at you, what are you doing? Tricks? Yeah. And Jeff's down here hanging out with mom because he was kicked out. They said no boys allowed. Black. Black. You got, you got a black one? Yeah. Oh, good. He's turning two in less than a month. It's like three weeks away. And are you gonna be two? You're one. one. Yeah, you're one. Are you gonna be two? Yeah. Yeah, two. Are you a big boy? Mama, do you want me to <laughs> No. He's eating a snack down here. I'm gonna, I don't have a snack. Oh boy. We drew a crowd down here with the M&M's, huh, Elle? We got some. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. What about little Evie? Twelve M and M. Oh my goodness, good counting. One, two, three. How about you, Evie? Um, I will have to be lining it up so I can count them again. Okay. So I need to get a little bin for this homeschool stuff, but I got some cool things. Like I'll show you. Here. It was Apple Week, so we were doing some Apple projects. What's up? So this is one of the things I got, Let's Play School, the morning fundamentals. And we're kind of just doing this, like we're not doing it every morning, all of these pages, that's what you're supposed to do, I think. But that's too much for Bryn right now. These are find and covers, so there's like lowercase letters, and then there's numbers too, right there. And then there's also tracing on the back, you can use markers to do that. And then these are buttons that I bought separately that you can use for fun, like to cover up the letters when you say one, to practice recognizing your letters. And then we also have a calendar that I got down here. It's the Melissa and Doug calendar and we're learning the days of the weeks and how to, like the date changes. And so that's been fun, they really like this. That's the song Jet was singing you. And then these are just some little supplies we got for one of the curriculums we're trying out, the plain preschool, I think it's called, by the busy toddler. So while they're eating their little snack out there, I'm getting my stuff ready for the market. And, well I did this earlier today, I'm not doing it right now, but earlier I think I made like 10 bracelets probably to finish filling up my extra small rack because this one needed to be filled up. My extra small and my small racks are always my most popular ones. So those are what I make sure have the most, um, the most in stock. And then these are all my smalls, which are stocked to the max right now. And then also I have some kids' bracelets down here that I have to hang up when we get there. My other bracelet racks are in the closet, but I'll get those out in a minute. And then I have both of my bead baskets ready to go. And pardon the lighting, and don't mind the background noise, jet screaming in the background, but I have all my market stuff. This is the closet, and it looks like a disaster, but everything's organized into the separate bins that I need them to go into. There's toys that are coming to the market and I bought a bunch of these little unicorn purses because these are really popular at the market. And I'm sure the unicorn ones will sell right out in the small ones. And then we've got some Mickey Mouse. I also bought these for a change. They're like little shoulder bags for kids. And these are all gonna be priced at $8. Just, they're more expensive so I have to price them a little higher. And then I also have a bunch of clips. We've got a big bowl of flowers ready to go. And then we've got gold, two extra packs of gold, but I'll open those when we need them. And then I have some on the bottom and then a whole big basket here, so. This is my last market of the summer and I needed to get rid of all my stuff. It's for Labor Day weekend, so it's gonna be really busy. And I also made a bunch of lanyards today. I think I made 10 extra teacher lanyards and then I hang these up when we get there. And right now my last task that I'm working on tonight is filling up some of my lanyards. I'm missing some of the neutral colors. So I need to make some tan and cream ones and some of the light pink ones. So that is my mission tonight. I'm not sure how many I'll be able to get done, but we leave tomorrow. Yeah. Get your 
your shoes out. We're gonna go bye bye. But I'm in the car and you put me. You are? Mm -hmm. My goodness. I'm on the thing Puppy go. Puppy go. Puppy fell in the car. This is fine. Are you ready for the cottage? Yeah. What are you so gonna fun. It's so fun? Yeah. What are you gonna do there? So fun. It's so fun. Good job. Are you ready for the cottage? Yeah. What are you gonna do there? Play Barbie. Okay. We're at the cottage. Are you guys having a picnic? Mm hmm What are you eating, Jet? Grapes. Grapes? What else? Salami. Salami? Yeah. The market's tomorrow, so we're just hanging out right now. We're going to have a beach day and then stay the night here tonight, and then I'll be up bright and early in the morning to do the market. Good morning. We're on our way to the farmer's market, and I'm going to bring you guys along, but we've got a full car packed. And the car seats fit in here, luckily. We made it up here together. I thought we were going to have to drive separate again. But Bryn just woke up. It's 7 o'clock, and we're getting an early start this morning. So we're on our way. Drew's coming with me, and he's going to help me set up my tables, and then he's going to come back here to be with the kids. Because my parents are going to the farmer's market today with their friends, and then they're also going to Art in the Park, which is another thing in Port Austin. So I think it's going to be really busy because of both of those things and because of it being Labor Day. So I'm kind of nervous. I'm going to be by myself today. And here comes Drew. Say hi to the vlog. What's up, vlog? You ready? Let's leave. Yeah. Here's to the good days. Here's to the sorrows. If this is a mistake. I know about tomorrow I don't want to fight no more Cause I don't feel the need no more, no Just want to make it stop Maybe it's something in the water Or maybe we just hit the end of the road Right now it doesn't even matter It's too late not to live So it is Monday today, Labor Day, and I just wanted to show you guys an update on what I sold at the market. I'm just gonna tell you guys about how the market went. It was actually one of my best ones because it was a busy holiday. So it felt like it was the busiest one, but I made, I, I wanna say like a little bit more than $1,400 is what I sold. So I didn't make quite as much as the 4th of July one, which I think I made $1,600 then. I can't remember all exact amounts, but it was pretty busy, so it was up there with one of my best markets, and I'm going to show you guys everything that I have left. So it's a little bit dark in here, but this is my medium and large racks for bracelets, which I probably sold a few on each. Um, I definitely sold a few on the medium side, but not too many. And then this is my extra smalls rack, which I sold a few on here, also not too many, which I'm kind of surprised. In my smalls, I sold um, like a whole side worth they were spread out at first and so that is what i have left for my bracelets and then i also made i think 17 custom bracelets so that was 170 dollars there and then these are also 10 dollars each at the market so that is how much i sold of that i don't know what i'm going to do with all of the rest of these maybe i'll have like an instagram story sale or something um, and also maybe I'll just save some for like if I ever do another event. I'm just not sure how that's going to go because I think that was my last one of the summer. So here we are coming into the closet and I'm going to show you how many clips I have left. So my clips went crazy. As you guys saw at the beginning of the vlog, I showed you how many clips I had, which was this full basket. And then I also had a um, round basket full of flower clips, which all of those sold out. And then I also had another basket, I think it was something like this here that was completely full and that whole basket sold out too. So this is all I have left and I actually added a few more because I had 
another package come in the mail that I didn't get before I left, I didn't realize, and um, some new ones came in. So I sold almost all of my clips. I just have this little basket left. So there is that for you. And then this is my keychains and wristlets board, which I don't have an exact number of how many of these I sold, but I probably sold like maybe maybe 10 or 15 all together combined of those. So there's that. And then my teacher lanyards, I sold a few of, not too many, maybe like five or so I would say, and these um, were $12. They were hanging up on this board, but I just took them down when I left the market so they didn't fall off in my car. And then my toys, I sold a lot of toys. I sold almost the whole basket of balls that I showed at the beginning of the video. For my rings, I just counted and it looks like I sold about 50 rings. My rings were selling a lot. And they're just like little cheap rings that I wholesale and then resell. I should look up how much I actually paid for this container, but I counted all of them and I sold about 50. And then my pouches were a no-go. No one bought these little kids' purses. So I don't know, I might use them as party favors for Bryn's birthday party because she has one that she likes to carry around and I was thinking about giving um, Evie and Ella one and then Bryn's two friends that she's inviting to the party one and I have some other things for the babies too. But I'll show you guys what I got for Bryn's, Bryn and Jet's birthday in another vlog. And also the purses were selling pretty well. I sold, I think like four of the unicorn ones. I have one left. And then, I don't know if I sold the other Minnie Mouse one. I can't find it in here, so I must have sold it. But it looks like I have one Minnie Mouse one. I must have sold the red one. And then I sold some of just the the regular square rectangle purses too. So, And then I sold, of course, some snap bracelets, but I'm not sure how many because I didn't count them before. I know I sold a lot, almost all of the squishies and the um, pop the poppets. So I don't have many of those left. The toys were a big hit and they always draw kids into my tent, which can be a blessing and a curse. First, because kids that have like messy hands from eating stuff at the farmer's market will come in and like start touching all over everything and give me a panic attack, but a blessing because it draws the moms into the tent. And then also it's a good way to sell the kids bracelets that I make they'll see the toys and then their moms will see the bracelets and want them to get a custom bracelet and then they also get a toy so then it's like selling double. But that is how the market went. I just wanted to give you guys a little update at the end of the video. I'm finishing up editing the video right now. I already finished the rest of it and then I'm gonna add this in and I will be posting the video tomorrow for you guys to see. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video. The next video coming up is going to be a little vlog of everything that I got the kids for their birthday. So make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet already and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!